Hello guys, today I want to present you a new demo project by our team, by my teammate Marius actually, that was encoded by me. And I'm constantly searching on Upwork for some demo projects, for some small idea that I could demo on this channel and on our GitHub, and this is one of them. So the client needs a really simple API with three actions, registration, login, and email verification. And if it was Laravel only, without API, it would be like 30 minutes of work. Install Laravel. Enable auth, enable verification, done. Not even 30 minutes actually, it's 10 minutes. But with API, it's much more difficult. And if you need the authentication to be also with API, with some front end on the other side consuming that API, this is a demo project for you. So we decided to create not only API, but also the front end part. And this is the repository, which is public now. URL will be in the description of this video as well, so you can click around. And I will comment on some parts of the code and how it works. First, how it works visually. This is the page. I've opened the network tab, so you will see what exactly is happening. So this page is actually HTML page. This is not Laravel. If we go to PHP Storm, front is the front end part, the client, where it is public index HTML. There's no Laravel here at all. So this is the situation where front end client is totally separate from the API, totally separate from Laravel. It could be mobile application, it could be web project on whatever other domain. So totally separate. And if we try to log in and register, actually register first, we fill in the form. And if we do some error, register throws 422 with validation error. So that comes from Laravel, from the API, but the API returns JSON result, whether it's error or success. And let's try a success one. So we register, click, and now let's see what happens. In registration, now it's a successful result. Status code is 200, not 422, and response is the token which we will use for verification. Remember, we needed to enable that verification by email. So the result from registration is that token and also at the bottom, the user object itself, which is great. And the user is logged in automatically, but not verified yet. So I go to my mail trap and I've received an email. And if I click verify email address, it takes me to the page of please wait and you're in. So if a user is not verified, they see this long text and for verified user, it's just you're in. And then there's logout. So this is the functionality. Now let's take a look at the code. And looking at the code in recent videos, I start to like looking at the code from GitHub perspective, analyzing the commits because they are visually a good way to see what has been actually changed. So as you can see, two folders and we have six commits in general. First was empty Laravel project, nothing really fancy here, Laravel new. And two main commits you need to care about is API part with passport and view front page. And then there are three commits about documentation for API and I will shoot a separate video what is scribe and how to use that. So now let's take a look at API. And quite a few things to analyze here, 17 changed files, so I will just run through that and you can spend more time analyzing it without me, without this video. So front page verify URL is needed to send the email. The link in that email should be the same URL as your front end client. And that is .env.example. So this is a good practice to have those variables somewhere in, in the example. So people who would consume that repository would just copy to env and know that this variable exists. Then we need authentication controller API. And also we override kind of instead of auth Controllers, default Laravel auth controllers, we need similar controllers, but in API section, and they need to return different things. Default auth controllers by Laravel return redirects to some page, success page or back with error page or dashboard or something like that. From API, we need a different structure for returns. So that's why we are putting new controllers with similar structure, but in API namespace, and overriding the default functions because they need to return JSON, like in this case. And also in register controller case, we need to return JSON as registered. Then a new controller for verification. And it is almost copy paste from the verification controller that you can enable in default Laravel, but just in API section. And then we remove everything related to auth. I mean, visual auth default by Laravel. 
Also, to send the email notification, we need to override the URL of that verification email. That's why we need our own separate class, which extends the default verify email, because our URL will be different and will depend on the config. And then user PHP, nothing really fancy here, must verify email is for the verification and has API tokens is from Laravel Passport. And speaking of Laravel Passport, you install that in Composer JSON, config the auth, same variable for the front page, I've mentioned that already, and the routes. So we create all the routes in the routes API PHP and remove auth routes from the web PHP. So that is the backend. Now again, compare that backend, which took like hours to write and test and config, to the way that you would have authentication in Laravel way in just 10 minutes. So as a side note, my advice, if you are making a decision whether to have your login form Vue.js based with API or leave it with Laravel, think twice. Because if you need that single page application with Vue and API inside of the application, so after login, that is fine. But the external login form or register form could totally be just Laravel without a separate front end. And speaking of front end, let's get back. And I won't comment too much on the view front page. It's pretty big commit. So take a look. I'll just mention the most important parts. So local example is similar env to the Laravel part. So you should copy that one to .env.local and change the URL for your API. And you should leave the slash API, by the way, because it's default behavior by Laravel backend. So we get to the meet index HTML. This is the client. So again, there's no Laravel here at all. And frontend doesn't even know that it's Laravel on the backend. Then main application, router links for home login and register. And this is the condition whether to show or hide menu items. So if there's no user, then login and register are visible. If there is a user, then logout is visible. We go next main JS index JS probably this one is the most important part for the routes so every route has its own component and I will quickly run through those separate file for auth JS so we are getting the user from slash user getting the login request actually posting the login request to slash login and this is where that view API URL comes in and more Vue.js code. Not sure if you need more detailed explanations. I'm not really planning to shoot too much videos on Vue.js part to go fully front end. The demo in this case is more Laravel API with Vue.js as a bonus code. So you can debug yourself how it works. Register and login forms here. Verify component and home component. That's it. Repository is public on GitHub. And if you want more videos and demo projects like this one, you can support our channel by doing one of two things. First, try and use our Laravel Quick Admin Panel Generator for admin panels, or enroll in my online courses about Laravel. Totally nine courses currently. I'm planning to shoot more in the future. And see you guys in other videos.